All right, so this user's question is about um, her father died of cancer and they did not find the primary tumor, the primary site of the cancer. And the question is, how common is this? Well, first of all, we have to understand what is meant by primary site. So cancers must arise from a cell or tissue of origin within the body. So in other words, it can arise from the skin, it can arise from uh, the lymph nodes, the blood cells, lung, liver, pancreas, adrenal glands, kidney, bladder, prostate. You can go down the line, um, everything you can think of, from even muscle, uh, soft tissue, cartilage, anything can become a cancer. And many people don't realize that the nature of cancer is that it arises from our own cells, it arises from our own tissues, and that's why it can actually be hard to kill, because a cancer cell is first a human cell that's part of our body, and then it differentiates into something malignant, and then it starts to grow out of control. So the pathology word we use for the primary site would be what kind of differentiation is the tumor. In other words, does it look like lung? Does it look like colon? Does it look like prostate? And when we say look like, we mean physically, does it look like it in the microscope? And then when we do our additional testing, does it test like a certain tissue? So for instance, we can do all sorts of testing. Um, probably the most common would be what's called immunohistochemistry. And then we can test the tissue. When we see it, we have a piece of tissue, we can test it and with special markers, and those markers can say this looks like colon this looks like pancreas this looks like bladder this looks like liver and then based on the results of those tests then we can say okay this looks like a lung cancer we give those results to the oncologist who then can develop a treatment plan to attack that specific type of cancer again this is why cancer can be difficult to cure because not every cancer is the same every cancer is from a different tissue type and has different genetic signatures and that can affect how treatment works but to your question of how common is that it's not very common you know i worked as a hospital pathologist uh, diagnosing these type of things from 2004 all the way through about 2018 and i would say to have a cancer for which we cannot find a primary site or an undifferentiated cancer it would be well less than five percent probably closer to one percent when that happens, we usually try to get it into a category like, does this look like a carcinoma or a epithelial type tissue? Does this look like a lymphoma or a leukemia? And then the treatment doc has to go from there.